Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil, and today we're going to discuss Zach Martin, the all pro Zach Martin. Um, you know, you had a roller coaster of a couple of days when it comes to the news about Zach Martin. I think the first one we, we jump on is a positive one, of course, that Zach Martin has been brought to the 99 club into the position that doesn't get a whole lot of you know glory when it comes to it in the sense of the guard position but the last person to do any kind of 99 in the guard position was of course larry allen another cowboy so congratulations to zach martin getting there uh, i think when you talk about his numbers and being able to get to something even close to that uh you're really talking about the fact that you haven't been giving up a whole lot of sacks mm, almost zero basically uh you haven't given up a whole lot of penalties in your whole career how many pro bowls have you gone to have you been healthy and available for your team have you been a leader there's so many things that he checks off the marks so it's no surprise that he gets the 99 rating um i think coming out of that of course he says hey man buy my jersey we, we need to support this guy of course um but when you well, when you talk about the offensive line and where it was going, I mean, you got Steele. What's going on with Steele? Is he going to be good this season coming off of a, a very bad injury? We've seen him move. We've seen a lot of stuff there. So there was a question mark. Can Tyler Biotish in the center position give a second year? Because, you know, us as a fan base, we want to see a body of work, not just one year like some other ones, uh, ready to give them the crown. But then we talked about, I think, the big thing that all – offseason was really what was happening in the left side the left tackle left guard uh where's tyler smith going to play what's tyron smith going to do is he going to stay healthy we all know that's not going to happen but it's a concern and so the one thing that we never talked about was of course the right guard position a guard that you know it's been there you know he's true day in day out he's a guy he's a leader he's he's that dude he's him um and, and it's just something that you know we've taken advantage of i guess we got complacent about it. and i think front office has as well when you look at his numbers 23 million dollars going into next year of course an extension on both sides would benefit everybody um and when he goes into this season only 1.6 million to the salary cap because of course you've given a lot of that salary cap in bonuses and slid more things to the end of his contract um he's not going to get paid very much this year so of course he's looking to get paid also i mean look look at what he just accomplished so when you look at cowboy fans we're not surprised about what's going on there i mean we got digs that you know you don't hear great things about and of course stephen jones going to front office is going is going to be involved in that you know i i don't even i, I get a little bit tongue-tied when i when i talk about that because i don't even know where to go in the, the disappointment that you know you don't want to pay these guys you know oh I, I overpaid him and I shot too too far and and I wasted money I, I get it but you don't want these guys to walk away I mean Diggs I can understand you know he's been the playmaker for us so of course we want to solidify in that secondary but you know corner positions has never ever been a great position for us to negotiate into I think the same thing when it comes to linebackers uh, but I mean, Parsons is a whole different kind of category. So you're, you're, you got guys that are stepping up into their contract years like a lamb and you're going to need to pay them. So of course, Zach Martin needs to jump to the front of that. Um, so what can you say about Zach Martin? I think, uh, you, you, I guess you're not, you're a little bit surprised that, um, that you're hearing this news. Um, but again, yeah, if you were Zach Martin, what would you do? Would you be a disgruntled as well, only going into the season as one point six million dollars? Um, and and when you look at what guards and and what Lane Johnson in general, just guys that are being paid in other areas and what they're being paid, he's definitely being underpaid quite a bit. So I mean, hey, next man up, and I think Zach Martin is that next next man. So go ahead and pay the man. No surprise here. I'm not going to be that guy saying, no, oh, I can't believe that he's, uh, he's, he's asking for more money and this and that. We negotiated this. No, man. Like He, he took a, a team-friendly deal at the time, and, and we've gotten amazing work from a guy at a low price. So let's pay the guy, and let's move on. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Comment what do you think is going to happen with Zach Martin. What do you think is going to happen in the sense of even in the in the Madden Club? Do you think another guy can follow? Do you th other th other guards or is he one of a kind uh, to us? Kind of like a Larry Allen. So again, I'm Primetime Phil, and thank you for stopping by, and I appreciate you guys, of course, always uh, supporting the channel. So don't forget to always make sure you do what? Ring that bell.